rain, hail or shine, The Sims 4 Seasons brings with it some very nifty objects that can really add to gameplay. I know, it's not entirely about the weather. Alas, we're going to go through 10 of them. As always, 5 being standout objects and 5 being underused objects. Now this is very much my opinion, so if I miss some of your own favourites, then let me know in the comments below. First up is a standout object, being Birdie's Bee Box. If you thought you loved bees before, you just wait. Now there's quite a lot of gameplay attached to this one object. Firstly, bees will produce honey over time. How much they produce depends on the season, with them producing more in summer and being dormant in winter. Now you can sell honey or you can drink it for a happy moodlet and to regulate your sim's temperature. That's right, no more freezing to death because you ate some honey. Much realistic, much love. But you can also befriend the bees. They might sting you a bit, but thankfully your sim will just be a little uncomfortable when that happens. No anaphylactic shocks in the sims. Before long, the bees will be your best friend and you'll notice an option to collect a swarm. This then puts a bunch of bees in your inventory for about 5 hours and you can consume the swarm to perform a range of different tasks. You can have them pollinate nearby flowers, you can have them cheer you up and even have them go and collect you a random gift. And we all love presents. These are usually just random collectibles, but it's cute to have your bees fetch things for you. Having bees in your inventory also unlocks interactions on other sims such as sending them a romantic message, cheering them up or even attacking them. So there's lots of cute fun to be had or chaos to cause. Let's move on to an underused object and it's the thermostat. You probably never thought twice about it, but it's a great home addition. This allows you to cool or heat your home, providing your sims with a positive moodlet when cooled in summer or heated in winter. And it will generally help with your sims temperature control too. Definitely a great object to use. Back to a standout and we shall turn our attention to the flower arranging table, which as you would really expect ties in with the flower arranging skill. The table allows you to make many different flower arrangements, which you can then display around your home. You can even change the vase so that you can mix and match arrangements, which can make it a really fun and creative pursuit. That being said, as you reach higher levels, it can also be profitable. Now you might be thinking, great, pretty flowers, but what else? Well, if an arrangement comes out as excellent quality, it can be scented with the flower to give it an additional effect. And as you level up, you'll gain the ability to use different flowers to add more scents for different effects. This can range from making sims happy to flirty and even resetting their aging bar. So, you know, keep your sims alive forever with flowers. But one thing to pay attention to is the bluebell scent unlocked at level 4. Flower arrangements will normally decay over time, but the bluebell scent will stop the flower arrangement from decaying, which is super important if you want to use some flower arrangements as permanent decorations. Okay, let's move on to an underused object being the money tree. Now you won't find this in buy mode, but rather you can buy it for 5,000 satisfaction points. I know, you're really breaking that satisfaction point bank. Alas, don't sell this, rather plant it and a tree will grow that produces money fruits. At base quality, a full harvest will give 8,000 simoleons, and this will increase as the tree's quality improves. So it's a great way to get rich very, very quick in game. Back to a standout, and it's Patchy the Straw Man! You may have thought he was just your regular straw man, but he's so much more. At first, you'll notice an interaction where you can chat to Patchy. Do this until he's your friend. This will also see you unlock a very cute outfit in Creator Sim. In addition, it'll unlock socials with Patchy, where you can ask him for some random gardening seeds, or ask for gardening tips, which is on a cooldown, but gives a nice chunk of gardening experience. But there's more, there's always more. Once Patchy is your friend, from time to time he'll randomly come to life. He's very cute and he'll help take care of your plants, among other less helpful things like watching your TV or playing on your computer. You can strike up a friendship too or even get flirty. I mean, I won't say no to Scarecrow love. Alright, I better settle down. Back to an underused object being the sprinkler. This nifty object will water your plants for you and Sims can play in it too. We love a dual use. Definitely an object that is both useful and can add some backyard entertainment to your game, no matter how silly your sims look playing in those sprinklers. Very silly. On to a standout being the roller skate and ice skating rinks. Place them in your home, or more likely a community lot, and your sims can skate to their heart's content. 
There's a hidden skill here too, being the skating skill. So although you won't see it appear in the sim skill panel, sims will actively become better the more they skate. You can adjust effects, lighting and music on the rink too, and thus really nail the setting whether you just want a chill day out skating or more of a dating vibe, definitely a fun object to help enrich your game. Time to head back to an underused object, being the decorations box. Now you can use this box to customise your home's decoration, whether it be for every day or to tie in with a holiday event. It's very cute and can really add to the setting you want in game. You can also unpack decorations from the box, which will spawn randomly around your sim. These are free and you can use them to decorate or even sell them, and we all love free simoleons. On to our ninth object and it's a standout being Dr. June's weather control device. Ever wanted to hold a pool party when it's raining? Maybe you want your sim to stay in and read a book as a storm rages outside. This weather control device allows your sim to change the weather to anything they want it to be. But it goes a bit further. There are a lot of upgrades on this machine and you are going to want to train your handiness skill so that you can use it better and more safely. And there are two upgrades of particular interest. Capacitive efficiency will allow you to change the weather within a season. For example, you can choose to make the ongoing winter mild, normal or snowy. And then there's a the temporal modifier unit upgrade at level 8 handiness. This upgrade will let you change the season itself. So yes, if you want sun or snow and you're not willing to wait, then this is for you. Our final object is underused and it's the evergreen holiday tree. What I love about this is that you can decorate it as a family, which adds some very cute gameplay. It also looks really nice and has a few different decoration options, so you can make it the perfect tree for your house. Even cooler is that you can add presents to it once it's set up, and then have family members that will come and open the presents. I think it can really make a winter fest or Christmas morning feel extra special. So definitely an object to whip out if you're looking to get into that holiday spirit. Alas, that's 10 of the best objects from the Seasons Expansion Pack. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.